टुडे इन द चैप्टर नंबर फोर ऑफ द यूनिट थर्ड फॉर्म ट्वेल्थ इकोनॉमिक्स द इंडियन इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट वी हैव स्टार्टेड यस्टरडे द चैप्टर पॉवर्टी एंड दिस चैप्टर नंबर फोर पॉवर्टी टुडे वी विल टेक द टॉपिक एब्सोल्यूट पॉवर्टी एंड रिलेटिव पॉवर्टी सी दीज आर द टू टाइप्स ऑफ पॉवर्टी बट according to the developing countries and least developed countries and developed countries there are different different ways of taking the considering the concept of poverty in lcds least developed countries and the developing countries the concept of absolute poverty is much prevailing and in the developed countries the concept of relative poverty is uh, prevailing so now considering first about the absolute poverty absolute absolute means fixed type in which there is a fixed standard line there is a set parameters to know about the people who are living below the poverty line this concept absolute poverty concept is based on the approach of uh, head count ratio and poverty line that we will see but now what is important to know about the absolute poverty then it has a fixed criterion regarding the consumption expenditure or income level which is required to fulfill the basic minimum requirements or bare minimum requirements which are necessary or very much essential for the survival of a person so the absolute poverty the term absolute poverty refers to the condition where an individual is not able to meet means he is not able to satisfy or fulfill the basic necessities or requirements to sustain life and other normal activities it means absolute poverty expresses that an individual or a person or a family or a group of person is not able to fulfill the basic minimum requirement which are essential for the survival and normal living in other words absolute poverty is the state or condition of being deprived of bare minimum requirements for survival like food shelter shelter means housing house facilities clothing safe clean drinking water and access to health education and sanitation ser services see all these commodities we can say these part are commodities and these are the services they are very much essential for the normal living of any person so it means the person or individual who are not able to fulfill or satisfy these uh, very essential needs he is considered to be the poor according to the concept of absolute poverty absolute poverty is de determined oh sorry it is a state of absolute deprivation means totally deprived of such essential commodities and services so it's a, a state of absolute depreciation uh, de deprivation absolute poverty is determined on the basis of minimum consumption expenditure or the level of income to fulfill these essential elements of life or these uh, very uh, commodities which are very much required a person need to spend some money that is known as the basic minimum expenditure in the form of money or it is also refers to the income which a person need to spend so absolute poverty is determined on the basic minimum consumption expenditure or the level of income absolute poverty is related to satisfying basic biological requirements necessary for survival and express in the form of minimum income level or consumption expenditure see all this we have discussed till now like uh, food shelter clothing and other clean safe drinking water and then facility of the health and education apart from health and education if we consider food shelter and clothing they are very much necessary 
to live so they are a part of the requirement which refers to the biological requirements so these are also called the biological needs are also called as the basic needs to uh, normal for normal living so thus absolute poverty is related to satisfying the basic biological requirements necessary for survival and express in the form of minimum income level of consumption expenditure yesterday in video we have also seen about the calorie intake so for the uh, rural area it was 2400 calories and for urban area it was 2100 calories so that food is also necessary so that has been expressed in the biological way in this <coughs> absolute poverty shows the number of people living below poverty line very important line absolute poverty shows the number of people living below poverty line when i have started i have discussed about the head count ratio so in poverty line a minimum level of consumption expenditure is fixed or laid down it is very important with relation to the absolute poverty in the when we measure the uh, number of poor or the people below poverty line through the approach of absolute poverty i have told you that there is a fixed or laid down standards so a minimum level of consumption expenditure is fixed or laid down all those who fail to reach this minimum consumption level are categorized as poor so who will be called poor or who will be called the below the poverty line who are not able to attain this minimum consumption expenditure level or who are not having the income to fulfill these basic requirements of the life so once again a minimum level of consumption expenditure is fixed or laid down or determined so all those who fail to reach this minimum consumption level are categorized as poor the calculation or estimation of absolute poor is based on head count ratio and poverty line the people who are not able to attain this poverty line they are known as the head count ratio in india especially in the developing developing country like india according to the economic survey 2012 and uh, 2011-12 nearly 22% population of the total population was absolutely poor it means 22% people of india they were below poverty line according to absolute poverty approach